Hey, this is number one in our arms in the back swing series. We're going to teach you an easy way to get your arms in the right position at the top of the back swing. Now, most people have no idea how their arm, arms are positioned at the top of the back swing. I, really, they don't. They get, they're bent over in the golf swing. They go up the top of the back swing. They don't look at their arms and they just swing. Even when you photograph yourself, you don't have a good idea. So one, here's a quick drill. I want you to do a quick exercise with a golf club just to learn what your arms look like now at the top of the back swing. So just get in your golf position. Go to your, the top of your back swing and stop. Stand up straight, look forward, and look at your arms. Now this is what mine look like, and this is actually a good position. Yours may look differently. I have no idea what they look like, but I gotta tell you, before I started doing that little exercise, the first time I did it, I was shocked what my arms, the position they were in. It, they were just in a terrible position. My lead arm was bent, my elbow was out and around behind me. It was terrible. But like I said, most people have no idea what their arms look like at the top of the backswing. You need to learn. Now, most people think they swing their arms in the backswing. Now, this is swinging your arms. I'm swinging this arm. And the key to know that I'm swinging the arm is because my shoulders are not moving. My body is quiet. But when I put two hands on here, all of a sudden my body becomes very active. The reason for that is you've got this triangle when you put both hands on the club. Both my arms are attached to my shoulders, both the hands to the club, and it creates this triangle. And this is a pretty solid unit. It is very inflexible. Despite what you think, despite the feeling that you're swinging your arms around you, your arms are actually very immobile in the golf swing. There's very little mobility in the golf swing. This unit here, this position, which every good golfer should start out in, has very little mobility. You can't really swing the arms around you. About the only thing you can do is fold one elbow or fold the other. Or you can fold them both, although that's not really a golf move. You can fold one elbow or fold the other. And there's your first clue. Instead of thinking about swinging your arms or swinging your arms around your body, start thinking in terms of folding. Because when you just fold that elbow, what happens? your arm automatically comes to the right top of the backswing position. How do we know that's the right top of the backswing position? We'll let your body teach you. Again, take your club, form your triangle, and just start slowly swinging back and forth, rotating your body. Keep your arms completely relaxed. I mean completely relaxed. This is all body movement, core movement. My arms are not doing anything. And when I get to the top of a turn, I'm gonna completely stop. So I've completely stopped. What position are my arms in? Lead arm straight. Wrist is flat, club is parallel to the ground, trail arm is off my chest a little bit. Remember, I got here with completely relaxed arms. My body put me in this position. And what is this position? When I go from here and I just fold my trail arm. That's the correct top of the backswing position. It's the natural one. It's the one your body wants you to be in. 
Now I'm going to show you some drills, a series of drills that will make it easier for you to do your backswing and come into this position with your arms at the top of the backswing. Once you do these drills, you can quit having to think about where do my arms go on the top of the backswing. That'll be it. It is simple. It is not complicated. Stop making this complicated. Stop letting people make it complicated for you. You know, it seems complicated. It becomes complicated because you've been trying to find the top of the backswing from here. And with all these angles involved, it is hard to figure things out. One of the things that makes golf complicated is you're doing everything bent over, turn, twisted and turned in these weird angles. So you can't really see things straight. Once you take the angles out, things become very simple. Now, where should your arms be at the top of the backswing? When you remove all those angles out of the golf swing, they should be right here. It's that movement you should be making with your arms. Like I said, I'm going to show you several drills that will drill that in and make that movement easy and automatic. And then you can move on and forget about where should my arms be at the top of the backswing. It'll be so automatic you won't have to think about it.